about 60,000 Africans have arrived in Israel on harrowing treks through the Sinai Desert, fleeing poverty, persecution, ethnic cleansing, and genocide. As refugee camps across Africa fill up and Europe closes its gates to asylum seekers, Israel became the next best option, accessible by land and said to be a developed democracy. But instead of providing them with safe haven, Israel is both refusing to grant them any benefits and denying them the ability to work legally to support themselves. Faced with poverty and exploitation, a new nightmare unfolded. While protests raged in the streets against the presence of asylum seekers from Africa, the man who held the power to determine their fate, Deputy Prime Minister Eli Ishai, demanded their expulsion. And the few isolated Israelis who dared to protest, like this woman, were met with a harsh backlash. <laughs> At the anti-African rallies we documented, one figure was ubiquitous a member of Knesset named Michael ben Ari. In August 2010, we interviewed him at his Knesset office.